Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be telling you what not to buy when you are going to be purchasing your hermit crab because when I got my first hermit crab, um, I didn't I didn't really know much about them. So I ended up buying a lot of stuff that I didn't actually need, they didn't act, and that they never really used, things like that. So in this video I'm going to help you guys not make the same mistake I did. So yeah, here's the first thing that you guys shouldn't buy when getting one. Is calcium sand because this has like chemicals and things like that that is actually not good for your hermit crabs and it could actually kill them because yeah it's just that bad for them so you should not get this you should get um play sand so yeah next thing hand shells as pretty as they may look you should not get them hermit crabs do not like them they are toxic to them and to get them and what people do to get hermit crabs into these painted shells is they literally pull them out of their old shell which is horrible because they're extremely delicate and they're supposed to be able to choose what kind they want. Um, you can look up videos about it, so things like that. But yes, you should never ever get painted shells when you're going to get them. But you should buy natural shells and um, get hermit crabs that are painted shells so that um, they can have a chance to get a natural shell and a better home. So yeah, next is, here we go, this. Unless it's just, you know, to carry them home or whatever, or just for like, quick travel, whatever, going home. Do not get these. These cannot be their eternal, um, like, forever living homes because it's way too small. Um, they're supposed to have at least a five gallon tank for one. So that would be five gallons per crab or 10 gallons per crab would be the best. Um, yeah, so yeah, do not get these. They're too small. They can actually bust out of them. I had a hermit crab that I had in there for a little while. Because I was, um, I don't remember, it was like a sleepover thing I was doing. <laughs> That's a long story. But, um, so yeah, I put her in there, and then the next morning I looked, and she had busted out. And we found her four days later, and thank God she was alive. So, yeah, that might be harder. That It's really hard. So, yeah, you should not get these. Sponges. I got these as well. Um, apparently, the hermit crabs don't actually. I've heard that these can also carry, like, chemicals and things like that. And that it could actually, yeah, hurt the hermit crabs, just like, um, yeah, the other, the other thing is, like, they have some sand and not every, yeah, it has, like, toxic chemicals and things like that, um, and I've heard that they don't even actually drink from them anyway, so that would just be a waste, so yeah, do not buy these. Get these, the ones with, like, the metal bars or whatever, because, um, it doesn't keep the humidity in, it's way too small, um, though they could get their claws hurt on the, like, the wires or whatever and yeah it comes with a sponge as well and um when i actually bought this and it was horrible because this thing broke in like two seconds these seashells came off it was just horribly made and they act it's like yeah they can't live in this one either so it's yeah just do not buy this one another home you should not buy for them is this because this one again is too small it's not good for them doesn't keep in the humidity and yeah regardless what the pet store says yeah they might sell this stuff if that's just to make money, they don't like, know how to care for them or anything. Like, once I went to the pet store and I told them I was looking for hermit crabs and they didn't even know what that, like, what a hermit crab was. So, yeah, that's the kind of people that are working there. Um, so yeah, do not buy these. I ran into these traps and I, yeah, I had to return it after I, like, research. So make sure you guys research, watch, like, these kind of videos and make sure you do not waste your money on stuff that is really bad for them and could kill them. This from a crab gravel because, first of all, they can, um, first of all, they need to molt to grow, which is where they shed their skin and then come out bigger or whatever, whatever. Um, and they have to do that in the sand where they can bury under it, and in the gravel they cannot do that, it'll hurt them, and it can, like, interrupt their process and things, and it's just really bad for them, so do not, do not buy this. What you should not buy is these two kind of foods, I don't know about anything else over here, but those two foods, I actually got those two foods when I got my first hermit crab, and they never even actually ate them or anything like that. Um, I don't know if it's like bad for them or what, but I just know mine never ate it, like none of them, and I've had a whole bunch of hermit crabs, and none of them have ever even like gone in that stuff or touched it, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just comment those in the comments, and I will answer them as soon as I can. So yeah, thank you guys, and bye!